Morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Olgi in the far west of Mongolia. Today's a really exciting day because we are heading to the Russian border for the second time. Let me show you guys the route for today. So after seven rides, we are finally in the very, very west of Mongolia here. And today we are heading north to the Russian border. So yesterday we took a day off here. Yeah, we needed it after two days falling off so many times. <sighs> we fell over. <gasps> oh no, oh no, 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 ah! So this day is just going from bad to worse. <sighs> oh no, 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 damn it! I think I've hurt my shoulder, my ribs, I think they're bruised or maybe broken, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So we have one and a half hours now to the Russian border, we still have to pack up everything and it's already 9.40, so better hit the road, let's go. Okay. <sighs> Ow. Ah, oh. oh, my ribs. Lavi's gonna be my little traffic manager. Yeah? Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm going up one. Oh, hit the bash plate. Wow, looks like a beautiful day to ride. Maybe I made a mistake putting my jumper on this morning. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to leave Olgi. So where we were staying at this hotel, Tavan Bogd Hotel, is basically in the very, very center of the city. This is like the main square. Nice statue of a man riding a horse there. And I think there's some like little vehicles for kids to ride around on, which is quite cool. There's a sheep there. Oh, and another horse. I think it's obvious to say that horses are incredibly important to the Mongolian people. Definitely. Look how many Russian vans here. Oh my goodness. I think they're on a tour. Wow, yeah. Oh, oh. Jesus. He nearly hit us. I was looking at those vans and then I didn't realize there was a guy reversing into us. This city, Olgi, is actually famous not for horses but for eagles. So this is actually the place where they hold the annual eagle festival. It's like a competition. It draws a lot of people here to Mongolia. I think they do races where they basically they put a piece of meat like certain amount of meters away and then it's like competition whose eagle can get the meat and get back and land on the guy's arm quickest and actually on our way in to Olgi we passed by a guy who had a pet eagle it's got an eagle here that's yeah. insane oh, God, yes. oh it's beautiful which was absolutely awesome absolutely impressive and you lifted it up right you had yes. it on your arm how was <laughs> yes, it it was cute how bouncy it is again yeah, unfortunately, no. on the two days of dirt roading that we just did, we seem to have broken our shock again. Yeah. Rolling along a really rough track, and I just heard like a pssssh. It looks like there's a valve here, and there's oil coming out of this valve. So we sent a message over to the guy at Suspension 101 in San Diego, who actually repaired our shock a couple of months ago. His response to us was, that shock is basically the end of its life. The gas chamber at the top of the shock, the valve is basically blown out the O-ring. So all the gas is gone. Because oil is also coming out the top, it means that the separation between the oil reservoir and the gas reservoir inside the shock is probably also broken. So basically it just means that our suspension is very soft again. So he said basically just replace it when you can. So I think it's time for us to get in touch with Suzuki, see if we can have a new shock sent out. It's a shame because it was bouncing all through like Central America and yeah. we were just waiting for San Diego to get it fixed. Yeah. Then it was fixed and it was just amazing yeah. for the whole of USA, Canada, Korea, Siberia. Two days on a dirt road and 
toast. On. So yeah, that's just another thing that we've got to deal with. But we won't be able to do too much until we reach our big rest stop, which is the city of Almaty in Kazakhstan. This is where we're going to be spending about 10 days resting and sorting out the bike, getting it ready for the final leg. Currently, we don't have the time to stop and do anything major because we have only eight days left on our Russian visa. We have about a four day ride to get through our Russian section and into Kazakhstan. That's our last Russian section. And this with the suspension is just another problem now. Yeah. But uh, you can just pray and hope that the bike will make it. But anyway, we have one hour 20 to get to the border. So the first step on our mission is get into Russia and get on the road towards Kazakhstan. Let's do it. views ahead wow it's gone into a dirt road now from a tarmac road with our shock the way it is it's just rattling around like crazy like absolutely crazy it's really really bad it's just bouncing 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 on every single bump so it looks like we're basically gonna have to crawl our way now to the border just take it really really easy yeah 30 35 miles to the border oh my god so let's have to bumble our way along hey yeah hello and I thought we were crazy. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. You're from France? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're cycling uh, from France here? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. Two years ago, okay. I started from France across Europe and Turkey. Uh -huh. and, but I have been stopped at the border uh -huh. with Georgia. Three months ago, uh, I moved back and I landed at Aktau. Yes. And from Aktau, I've been cycling up to here. Wow, okay. If you go to Russia, be careful because you cannot use your... Uh, the yeah, money. Your you need credit. just yeah. cash, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! How long were you in Russia for? Um, I stayed only five days. Yeah, we have to go now to Kazakhstan, so to Barnaul. Yes, and then... I, I've been there. Okay. I still have the map. Oh, so this is the same way you did. So, I... I Yes, here, Barnal, here, and then exactly. Seme. So it's about 1,200 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. a yeah. bit easier with this. Which, which border uh, did you did you take this border or that border? This one. Ah, oh, uh, you took this one. Yes. Oh. Was uh, was it paved road? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere good. And this is extremely beautiful. Oh. Across Altai. Altai yes, Mountains. Yes. Yes. Very beautiful. Oh, that's very beautiful. nice. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah. how was this border? It was okay. It was okay. But be careful because uh, I had a two hours long interview. Wow, oh. two hours. Yes, saying uh, uh, what are you believing yeah. in? What religion? Okay, okay, so a lot of deep questions. Okay, so you have to be careful okay. with you, uh, your answer. We arrived from Korea to Vladivostok. We had also, I think, interview when we came in. Yeah. And interview when we came out. Actually, she was interviewed, yeah. and um, they came out. They were all laughing, and then they said, they said to me, "We don't need to interview you. Yeah. We, it's okay. We interviewed her. She yeah. told us everything." Yeah. And then we just, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Russia, you already have your with a visa, visa. Yeah. Uh, we have actually like a tourist visa oh, tourist. because we got it last year yeah. uh, it's valid for one year yeah. but it expires in eight days yeah. after it, it's a good one oh, okay so it's not like this all the way to the no, border no, no. Oh, after this it's perfect oh, okay that's good it's a new road yes i think yeah, yeah. Yeah. so you're gonna get to olgi today yes, it's not yeah 30 miles or something more that's okay I yeah Yay, nice yeah, to meet you. you nice to meet you. What was your name? Christopher. Christopher. Thank you for you too. Bye bye. So we're getting pretty close to the border now, so we're just going to take off the rear pole just to be safe. All right, we've arrived at the Mongolian side of the border, but the barrier is currently down. I don't know, I guess we'll just wait for the barrier to open and then yeah. we'll start the process. Yeah, but I wonder if we um, already have to do something here with our passports. Mm. I mean, there's a big sign, restricted area where the guys are walking. I would say we just stick with the bike. 
I can see a building over there. Uh -huh. Probably the barrier will open. We'll go through to the building and then we'll do everything in that building, I reckon. Okay. <sighs> so we wait. Much, much, much later. All right, passport stamped out of Mongolia. Everything is done. It's time to head to the Russian side. <laughs> So they sent us back to Mongolia. Yeah, they didn't want to let us in. Only joking! Hey, welcome to Russia! <laughs> okay, let's jump on. Aye. Cameras are back on. Cameras back on. We are ready to rock and roll. Oh yes. So that is it. We're here in Russia for the second time. We made it through the border. Incredible, really incredible. It still took actually nearly four hours in total yeah. to get through both sides of the border. I mean, that was a pretty crazy, crazy wait that we had to do on the Russian side. Totally crazy. They always just let uh, like 10 cars in and then they pro process the 10 cars and the 10 cars can leave. But you know, all the other cars, they have to wait in front of a gate for ages. Because the queue was long, there were at least like 30 cars with trucks and everything. Wow. So the Mongolian side was relatively easy, to be honest. We were through in about one hour. And then it was about a half an hour ride, actually, from one side of the border to the other through no man's land. We were just riding, riding, riding. Like, where's the border? <laughs> and then on the Russian side, uh, passport control was pretty straightforward. But it was the customs that really took us, like, I think it took us maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours yeah. just to do the customs program says there's like only two customs officials and there's a huge crowd of people around just trying to give their documents and oh my god it is ruthless at that window <laughs> no there's no queue there's no, nothing no. everybody's just holding their papers and trying to get as close to the window as possible there's no etiquette there's nothing it's just like yeah. people leaning up against people i had a woman with her face like two inches from my face and she didn't care she had her papers ready <laughs> when that window opens and the customs guy gets his hand for the next paper she was going to be there she was going to be ready so i gave the papers to lavi and she was just like bah, bah, bah. <laughs> hand through all everybody like yes get the papers to the front <laughs> oh my god it was absolutely mad it was mad that's really unique here on the Mongolian border <laughs> no rules when you are in the crowd <laughs> but it is now 4 p.m. and we have arrived in Russia now we can finally make it through to the Kazakhstan border before our visa expires so for today we're not going to do too much more riding we've got uh, 90 miles to get to a hostel which we have found on iOverlander. I read it's 500 rubles per person, so 1000 rubles for both of us. This is about 10 pounds, which would be absolutely perfect because at the moment here in Russia we have just cash and we have to be quite careful. Yeah, once we run out of cash, that's it basically. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it looks like that the road is really, really nice and smooth, which makes me really, really happy. Hopefully, the road won't be bumpy here because otherwise we are screwed. If it stays like this all the way through Russia, I'm gonna be so happy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. So anyway, let's enjoy Russia! Yay! <laughs> on the side of the road it's super super beautiful but we are both really exhausted I just crave for like a comfortable bed you know and an early night so we're having a little snack break I made us some bread this morning and we have some crisps so it's not long to go anymore 
Uh, we are just chilling out here a little bit and just relaxing and enjoying the view. Look at these rock colors. Yeah, beautiful, hey? Are we here in Argentina? <laughs> yeah, it looks like Purba Marca. Wow, it's so beautiful here. What a cool road. It's just so peaceful, hey? Knowing that the road is at the moment really good, that I can't feel the suspension. <laughs> yeah, after yesterday, or the day before lots of negatives then yeah. today a few positives yes exactly so the state we entered into russia is called altai republic and is named after this mountain range that we are going to be going through which is called the altai mountains yeah it's really crazy because every traveler told us oh my god the altai area is so beautiful and wow we are just like 10 miles into this journey here and it's just incredible we've only like ridden for an hour and it's already just it's absolutely picturesque here really impressive Wow, that is a crazy mountain vista ahead. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah, wow, that's a lot of snowy mountains. Oh, yeah, hello. <laughs> Nice little things to stay in. Yeah, unfortunately we can't stay in any of these chalet cabin type things. They're probably out of our price range. Yeah. We'll have to see how Alton 2 Hostel is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the one. Check it out. Yep, Alton 2. Okay, cool. Perfect. We made it! Happy the life! So we're already in bed. <laughs> it's like 7 o'clock. Wow, this day was really nerve-wracking, especially crossing borders is always nerve-wracking, but especially crossing this border, it was like, whoa, okay. So this was our first time coming across the Russian border completely alone, but it went really well, so I'm really happy about that. Apparently, our Guinness World Record plan might actually work which is kind of crazy to be honest because i didn't really think that we could get all the way here before the visa expired i can't believe that in just a few days we are going to be past this stage into kazakhstan and then it's just like <sighs> free sailing from then on and as well we will have a little bit of a break we will catch up with all the editing and we will just rest our bodies and make a nice plan that we can see all the amazing sights along the way and we take our time <laughs> but on a side note my rib was super painful for the whole of today so I just really need a rest. So for today we will just rest and relax and try to sleep very early because tomorrow we have a really exciting day ahead. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.